welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Tom. Today I'll be talking about creating and using forms inside of DriveWorks Solo. Forms provide a user interface to input values which will help drive configurations. I've already captured my model, which is a bike frame, and I've captured some dimensions and features that I want to use to drive this configuration. If I go into my project manager, you can see that I've already started a form. I've used a label and a picture box to denote some of the properties that I'll be using inside my bike frame design. I've also defined some tables which will help me calculate the dimensions of my bike frame based on the height and the leg length of our individual customers. Inside the form design, I'm going to give our user options to drive the inside leg length and their customer height as well as the color of the bike. The first control I'll create is the inside leg length, which I will use a spin button for. We'll call this inside leg length. I can place this on the form and I can extend the, the ends so they line up with the edge of my form. We'll also expand this down so we can see the complete name of our, of our design. A spin button requires an increment, which we will do a half an inch, as well as a minimum and maximum, so we can limit the number of values that our users put in based on minimum and maximum values. If I go into test mode, I can start to see how my spin button will work based on a half inch increment. I now want to capture my customer height, and for this I'll use a list box. A well, list box works similar, where it will provide options to our to our user, but it provides them in a different way. So, if I come and create a rule for items, I want to list all the options that I have from my frame calculations table, and I'm looking to output all the height options. So, DriveWorks will generate the syntax of this rule for me automatically. Now if I go into test mode, I can see all those height options from my form design. The final rule I want to create is based on the color of the bike. For that I'll use a combo box. So we'll populate our color combo box as our final option inside our form. And we'll use a similar rule for our items of this list. I'll drop down my functions and say list all. However, instead of using our frame calculations table, I now want to use my colors table. And the column I'm returning are all the colors from this table, which is column number one. With th these three values inside my form, I can go into my model rules and start to generate rules based on my form. So for my DW color, which is a custom property, I can use a VLOOKUP that is going to be linked to my color control in my form and I can look up the table for colors and return the RGB value which will dictate the color of my design. Clicking finish will generate the syntax, I can hit OK. And now this lookup is going to return the color code RGB value for Alice Blue. With the remainder of my model rules created, I can go back into SOLIDWORKS and test out my project. Using the run functionality from DriveWorks Solo, I can now see that my form is living inside of SOLIDWORKS. I can use my form design tools to select different options and go ahead and run a model generation of my part file. So what DriveWorks is now doing is going through my tables, finding values to drive the bike dimensions as well as the bike color for a final product that's going to be custom to this specific user. Thanks for watching another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. We hope you're able to join us for our next week's session. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.